My name is Anthony Wilson Robert Marilo. I am from Malawi. In the year 2000, I had a very bad car accident and I was operated upon in Malawi. About three months, I couldn't walk. And so I requested my doctor to seek a second opinion from another doctor. I had a friend, his name is Kelvin Mangisa, who had just returned from Manipur Hospital. He had come for knee operations, both, both knees. And he advised me that he had had very good treatment at Manipur Hospital. After everything had been set up, I traveled from Malawi to India. I arrived here on the 2nd of June, and upon arrival, I came straight to Manipur Hospital. I was taken to Dr. Smil Kinney, who interviewed me, and after taking me for several x-rays and laboratory, laboratory tests, he said that he could do the, the operation very well. I first saw Mr. Anthony Malilo, a 76-year-old gentleman from Malawi, about three weeks back in the outpatient clinic. Uh, he came to me with increasing pain in the left hip for the past few years, uh, but increased uh, for the past one year to such an extent that uh, he had to limp and could not walk long distances. To give you a brief history, he had a fall about 22 years back, sustaining a hip fracture, uh, which required surgery. After a couple of failed surgeries, uh, uh, three months apart. The third and the surgery was done with, for a hip replacement which was uh, uh, inserted. Uh, in spite of the surgery, he had subsequent pain and then a fourth hip replacement uh, was required about uh, six years back. So subsequently he was all right, but uh, for the last four years he has again in developed increasing pain in the left hip. Uh, I evaluated him to see that the left hip movements were actually painful. The pain was more situated on the groin as well as the, as the upper thigh. We did x-rays uh, to confirm that he had got a loosening of the implants uh, of the left femoral stem which subsequently had subsided which indicated that it was indeed loose. So we told him that he would need uh, a revision procedure wherein the components had to be changed uh, to fit uh, the processes. So we did uh, x-rays, uh, CT scans and also blood tests to rule out uh, any infection. Uh, the infection was subsequently ruled out and we took him up for surgery. Uh, we took out his implants, the femoral stem or the thigh, thigh bone stem which was loose. So we revised only his uh, thigh bone or the femoral side because this, uh, the socket side or the establer side was uh, relatively well preserved. The surgery went well and uh, his leg lengths were restored. He was about an uh, inch and a half short but post surgery for the first time he said that his leg lengths were restored to his pre-injury levels. The patient started walking the next day with the help of a walker. Uh, with full weight bearing as tolerated. He's about uh, three weeks uh, down the line and he's doing absolutely fine and he's able to walk considerable distance with the help of a walker and will subsequently be able to walk without any support. The, the staff were marvelous. The nurses, the daily uh, checkups, by daily rounds by the doctors, the cleaners and everybody else were marvelous, They're really, really good people, very, very helpful in every way. If I had a small problem, I'd just ring a bell and within seconds they'll be there. A lady called Kalpana, she's a physiotherapist and she would come every morning to make me walk. I had heard in the past that people were coming to India for treatment, but I didn't know that uh, there was this Manipur hospital, which was, which is really uh, a very good hospital. I would like to thank the staff, beginning with the doctors, the nurses, the master cleaners, and all other staff, the security, security men, for having looked after me so well and made my time really excellent.